welcome my dear students today our topic is refraction of light at curved surfaces curved surfaces means uh, suppose if we take a convex lens converging lens or uh, that means uh, concave lens like that that means curved surface means so suppose if we take any lens for that lens at least one uh, surface should be a curved surface okay uh, i would like to go through the bits Okay. The rays from the distant object falling on the convex lens passing through the focal point. That is, answer is focal point. The ray passing through the dash of the lens is not deviated. That is, pole. I think you know the pole. Just I would like to show that pole uh, by using this diagram. So, uh, this is a uh, concave mirror for this concave mirror the center of the curvature the center of the curvature we are calling as a pole this is a pole suppose if any ray is passing through this one it won't deviate directly it will come in along that same direction suppose if any ray is passing through the focal point that will becomes like a parallel ray suppose if any ray is parallel to the principal axis that will goes towards the focal point these are the important definitions we should be remember okay uh, the lens formula is given by what is the lens formula is 1 by f equals to 1 by u plus 1 by v f is the focal length focal length means the distance between the focal point to the pole and u is the object distance suppose here we have kept that image here that means the distance from the object to the Pole is object distance that is u and so if the image is formed here the distance between the pole to the image is called as image distance that one we are denoting with the letter v 1 by f equals to 1 by f u plus 1 by v the focal length of the plano convex lens is given by plano convex lens that means one side is, is a plane surface and another surface is a curved surface that's one for that one uh, focal length is given how much given for as f equals to 2 r given solution i am doing here uh, try to understand f equals to 2 r given for us and r is the radius of the curvature that means it has two uh, that is uh, radius of curve surfaces the first one is r1 and the second one is r2 that means r1 equals to minus infinity r1 equals to minus infinity and r2 equals to how much given for us minus r given for us and uh, 2r where r is the radius of curvature of the surface then the refractive index of the material of the lens is that means what he was asked is n2 equals to how much why because here two mediums are there uh, the first our surrounding medium is a that's way n1 equals to uh, for the refractive index of the air medium is 1 and the refractive index of the material that means n2 also n2 equals to how much that is the uh, data given for us what is the formula we have uh, our formula is 1 by f into n2 minus n1 by n1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 now we have to substitute all those values into this formula 1 by 2 f sorry uh, f means 2r 1 by 2r equals to n2 equals to we don't know that one we have to say n n say okay that means n minus refractive index of the surrounding media that is air minus 1 by 1 and 1 minus oh, sorry 1 by r1 1 by r1 r1 means minus 1 by infinity minus 1 by infinity means 0 minus of minus of minus that is minus r okay that implies what we can write is 1 by 2 r equals to n minus 1 into minus 1 by infinity is 0 minus of minus plus so that means 1 by r therefore therefore suppose if we cancel r both sides then we can get n e minus 1 equals to n minus 1 equals to 1 by 2 that implies n equals to 1 plus 1 by 2 therefore n equals to 3 by 2 this is the refractive index of the material this is the refractive index of the material next one is 
the lens which can form a real and virtual image by using the convex lens we can form the real image and also the virtual image dash cannot be used to make a lens actually options given for us water glass plastic and clay actually clay is a not a transparent medium that's why clay is the answer option d is correct answer okay the distance of dash is not greater than the object distance for a convex lens for a convex lens the distance of virtual image the distance of virtual image is not greater than the object distance for a convex lens one more problem given for us focal length of the plano convex lens is how much okay how much so uh, when its a radius of curvature of the surface surface is r that means radius of curvature is a uh, plano convex lens means once again we have to take the one side is the radius of curvature is infinity and another side is minus r and how many refractive indices are there here there are two refractive indices the first one is air medium and the second medium is n2 equals to n we have to say okay so when its radius of curvature of the surface is r and n is the refractive index of the lens okay we have to calculate the focal length focal length of the plano convex lens is how much he was asked that means what is the formula we have 1 by f equals to n2 minus n1 by n1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 once again we have to substitute those values into this equation 1 by f equals to n2 equals to n minus n1 means 1 by 1 into 1 by minus infinity minus of 1 by minus r that implies 1 by f equals to n minus 1 into uh, 1 by minus infinity that means 1 by infinity is 0 minus of minus plus that means 1 by r that implies uh, 1 by f equals to n minus 1 by r that implies f equals to suppose if we take the reciprocal f equals to r by n minus 1 f equals to uh, r by n minus 1 that means the option c is correct for this one the option c is correct for the second one according to your uh, test book that is b is the correct answer and here what is the answer focal length should be equals to the r by n minus 1 okay no doubt thank you yes the value of the focal length of the lens is equal that means f equals to equals to the value of image distance image distance we have to be denoted with the letter v okay when the rays are when it will happen when it will happen is actually what is our formula 1 by f equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u that implies 1 by f means 1 by v equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u if we both are cancel therefore u equals to 1 so u equals to 1 means object distance is unit that means passing through the optic center is correct parallel to the principal axis is also correct passing through the focus is also correct that means all the options are correct that's why the option d is a correct lens makers formula so lens makers formula already we have used in the previous problems that means 1 by f equals to n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 this is the lens makers formula r1 r2 are the radiuses of the both sides n is the refractive index and of the medium and f is the focal length okay my dear friends actually those are the bits uh, we have in our test book some more important bits i would like to explain you if the focal length of the uh, length is positive then the type of lens is called as that lens is called as convex lens if the focal length is negative then the lens is called as concave lens okay dash image cannot be seen by eyes that is virtual images we may not observe with our eyes and dash image captured on screen real images the images which can we can obtain on the screen we are calling as a real images dash lens is called as converging lens converging lens means if the, if the rays are uh, passing parallelly 
okay suppose if you want to focus them you have to use one lens that lens is convex lens by using the convex lens we have to focus those lens, uh, rays at a particular point okay uh, thank you